before this video begins, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Next Level Entertainment or the official NLE. They're really cool guys and they're like really, 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 really small at the moment. So if you guys be so kind as to check them out, be sure to, if you like their video, subscribe and leave a like and stuff. Like they're really small. Like let me check right now. They have like, I don't know, 4,000 views total. So guys go check them out. Their content's actually really well done. And really professional, so if you guys like that kind of stuff, be sure to check him out. But anyway, guys, hello, all you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here. Welcome back. Why do I. This is like a new trend where I always say welcome even to a game. Like, as I'm, I'm implying welcome to a game, even though I'm not. Well, uh, implying that I'm playing a game. No, it's a commentary, right? <sighs> anyway, today we are going to be talking about a possible release date for Need for Speed Most Wanted. No. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm still profusely sick, profusely coughing and stuff like that. But yes, basically, we're going to be talking about possible release dates for Most Wanted, Need for Speed 2015. Now, I turn my fan on because it's like 80 degrees out here in Pennsylvania, so yeah. So bear with me if you hear a fan in the background or something like that. I kind of need it because I'm dying without the fan on. But yes, basically, so without further interruptions, let us begin. So, basically, Need for Speed. Now, basically, I'm going to go over the past release dates for the past five, four Need for Speed games that have come out. And basically give you a rundown of how each one was, when each, each one was announced, alright? If I can actually get together what I'm going to say. So, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 was announced in early June around E3 time. So, basically, yeah, around E3. The run, however, was announced in late April. The announcement trailer came out, and, and I'm going off the announcement trailers. I see, I don't know when they were actually announced. I couldn't find that. But the announcement trailer for that came out in a, late April. So obviously, yeah, it's May now. It's May 5th as I'm recording this. But Need for Speed Most Wanted was announced around late June, around E3, just like Hot Pursuit. And by the way, those were both made by Criterion. And Rivals was announced in late May by Go and this is mostly made by Ghost with help from Criterion, so I don't know. I don't know if releasing like releasing the name around E3 is Criterion's thing, but yeah, because the run was announced at a totally separate time, so I'm not sure if like the separate development companies choose when to ch announce the game. I from this, it looks like it is, but then again, Rivals was announced in late May, and that had a lot of help from Criterion, so I don't know. But then again, Ghost is basically taking over full charge for this Need for Speed game, so I think they might have. If this is true, how they have the development, the, the development companies have their own release date schedule, then I guess we could see them release announce it at a different time. I personally think they're gonna announce it in the coming weeks, maybe two, three weeks from now. But yeah, about two week, two, three weeks. Look at my calendar, which is right above my computer. Today's the 5th, and then two weeks from now, it's going to be the 19th. Three weeks from now, it's going to be the 26th. No, no, sorry. Four weeks from now, it's going to be the 26th. Sorry. I can't count. Three weeks from now, it's going to be the 26th. Um, and most want and Rivals was announced. The announcement trailer came out the 24th, I'm pretty sure. But then again, we did get pictures of the next Need for Speed game a couple days before that. The 22nd, 23rd. And, yeah. But basically, I feel as if... As I'm looking out the window, or something weird outside, but I feel as if we're gonna get an announcement trailer in the coming weeks. You, of course, we actually are because E3 is right around the corner. Actually, in a few weeks as well, five, four weeks. Um, but I feel we're gonna get it earlier since Ghost kind of announced theirs before, like E3 back in like late May, and I feel that they could do the same since like we're going off like how Black Box released theirs in late April, and then. With Criterion, they always announce theirs right before E3 in early June. So, basically, I feel as if that, with Ghost taking charge, I feel like they're, they have their own set time for releasing. And I feel as if, since if they're making, if they're making an Underground 3, I feel that they want, well, I mean, since they're making the next Need for Speed game, they're like, we're going to, like, make it the biggest Need for Speed thing ever, or something like that, what they said. I feel as if they're going to want to release it a little bit earlier from E3 to build hype up to E3 and then E3 just like get all the hype together and then start and start laying down the tracks for the hype train to roll down <laughs> up to the release date um, but yeah and print out tickets for the hype train 
But yeah, I feel as if that it's going to be late May from maybe the 19th to the 31st. Around that time period, within those two weeks period. But I hope that basically, I hope this comes true. I hope it's underground. But anyway guys, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.